Hello everybody. Today we'll be looking at Kint Janapakal, the famous Mayan king of Palenque. I'm sure though that some people may not know who are the Mayans. The Mayans were people who lived in Central America, which is also known as Mesoamerica, and they lived from 1800 BC to 1546 AD, which is 3,346 years. They made many things such as chocolates, and they were thriving until the Aztecs and the Spanish invaded the Maya and their country. Today we'll be looking at the city of Barcao, which is present-day Palenque in Mexico, and its most famous king, Kinich Gerard Pacal. This king has two nicknames, Pacal, which means a shield, and the Great Pacal, which means a great shield. Kinich Jinnar Pakal was born in Palenque, then known as Bakal, the city who would later rule to his mother Lady Sapkuk, while it is not clear who his father was. He was born in the 23rd of March, 603 AD, while his religion was the Mayan religion, which everyone at those times in Mesoamerica believed in. In 611 AD, when Bakal was only eight years old, his uncle, who was king, died. As he had no children, Kinich Janar Pakal would have been his successor. But since Pakal was young, his mother took ascension to the throne for four, three years until Pakal turned 12, an age deemed old enough by the elders so that Pakal could claim the throne himself. Lady Sukkut still continued to guard her son like a lord protector, even though he still had a degree of power until her death in 640 AD, when Patel was 37 years old. Like other Mayan monarchs at the time, he claimed that some of his ancestors were gods, and he also claimed that he could control the four elements, even though that is unlikely to be true. He was also at times the centre of controversy in Palenque. Since he had assumed the power through his uncle and not his father, who archaeologists have discovered could have been a lord, some of these older relatives, as well as other wealthy families located in Palenque, argued that they had more rights to the throne than Tinic Janar Pakal. Historians believe this may be the reason why Pakal and his three sons built many buildings during their reign, celebrating both their families and cities past. In 1640 AD, Pakal married Lady Tazabaku Ajar, who was nicknamed the Red Queen by an archaeologist, since when her team was discovered in the temple in inscriptions next to her husband, it was covered with cinema, a precious scarlet red of metal. By then, Pakal and the city of Palenque were growing and at their prime. New buildings were being constructed, the economy was growing. Kinich Janar Pakal was a fair king amongst the citizens and Palenque was becoming a great powerful city, even rivaling the capital city of Tikal itself. Despite that, some bad news was coming back out way. In 683, only five days after he celebrated his 80th birthday, Kinich Janab Pakal died of old age. He was cited extraordinary by many Mayans. Because in a Mayan era, the average lifespan of an ordinary man would be only 66 years. And Kinich Janab Pakal lived 14 years beyond that. He, like many other Mayan kings before him and after him, had a grand funeral and was put in a tomb in a temple of inscriptions. More than a century later, his tomb's lid causes controversy all over the world on its design. The most accepted theory is that it shows Pakal driving a spacecraft, something that could only be in the king's daydreams back then. They didn't have spacecrafts. It's even earned him the name of the Mayan astronaut. In 1952, however, his tomb hadn't been discovered yet, and a temple of inscriptions was just considered an ordinary but well-maintained Mayan temple. However, nobody had ever been inside before. The National Institute of Anthropian History in Mexico Wanted to change all that, however. 
as documented on many popular historical television programs all over the world. After many months of research, the leader of the National Institute of Anthropian History of the Inner Department of the Mexican Government, Alberto Ruiz Lujia, started digging. He recounts, under the Temple of Inscriptions, he saw a long deep tunnel. Using his spade and a flashlight, he went into the town, tunnel, and he found a tomb. He became a local celebrity before he died in 1979. So, at the end, his tomb was found and archaeologists are still researching today about Morph, about the Mayans and even Kinich Janab Bakal and most of about his personal life. So that's all today for today. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learnt more about the Mayans today and see you soon. Bye!